Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly advise you to stay on a sim as long as needed before uh, you go live. This is a very serious a place where we strongly recommend to have a lot of experience before you start using a, a live account. Uh, right now, on the last entry signal on the market analyzer, we have 630 ticks based on one contract. We have the ES entry. Uh, this is the gold, but this is the ES entry 360575, target 3592, uh, based on one, um, one contract. And... Uh, Let's look at the ES, and uh, right now we have uh, the entry is right there. We are using two contracts, so on the market analyzer, there is one contract, 350, two contracts, 700. NASDAQ uh, entry on the automated trade, 2225, target 958, 397 takes base on one contract, uh, 2000 almost 2,000, and we are using one contract on the automated trade uh, with the, uh, with the uh, NASDAQ. So we will go to uh, uh, the YM is done. Let's look at the CL. The CL, we still on the trade. One contract is 240. If we look at the left upper corner uh, at the market analyzer, you will find it's the same number. On the right upper corner, it is the scalper. On the scalper, we use a 15 ticks chart. And um, as we see on the scalper, this is an example, the YM. Oh, by the way, you can see the link at the bottom of this page. And uh, if you are interested to come in tomorrow on the other channel to go live with us, uh, we have a very great education room. You're very welcome to follow us on the other channel. So the YM, there is a two contract here on the YM market analyzer. is uh, one contract, 41 takes, 40 takes, $200. And this is a double contract, is uh, 575 uh, Russell also, this is an example uh, for Russell. This is an automated scalper. The Russell have 63 takes and uh, 315, and it is exactly what you see here. So right now, uh, it is a very a great system for the ones uh, that wanna learn, uh, they can. And right now to show the clock, it is 2.23 uh, p.m. And then, uh, Right now, we are 740 takes into the profit. While we are waiting, we're going to uh, cover different type of an auto trade. has nothing to do uh, with, the, uh, with the scalper signal and the entry signal. Uh, also, you have in your package a different type of an auto trade. Uh, I don't know if I need to show the DAX today, but uh, today in Europe uh, we have um, we have a very wild run today on the DAX, and it does not mean uh, those numbers you're gonna see every day. I don't want it to. I don't want you to to think that every day will do that. But uh, we had. If you are using. Uh, the DAX, we start with the DAX. If we are using the DAX, uh, we strongly advise you to use a European time. And uh, that is around 6, 7 o'clock in some areas in the state. And uh, all of them, they are based on a $1,000 target. And, uh, and uh, all the five charts, they are the same template. So uh, the one minute, 23.91, uh, the two minutes, 10.5, uh, the three minutes, 
1044 uh, the four minutes to 2900 and uh, the DAX five minutes was uh, 9400 again uh, auto trades are wonderful when the markets are moving and you have to be very careful uh, when the market this is the secret to learn uh, when to start your auto trade and when uh, to stop your auto trade so uh, this is the DAX and uh, now we want to it's the same template on all those charts and now we're gonna bring the Nasdaq also the same story the same template the same <clears throat> template on the DAX is the same template on the Nasdaq. They're all on the, under the same template, even the ES and the CL. And uh, uh, also is in Siri, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. The one minute, all of them, also the DAX is $1,000 target. But if the market uh, uh, did go to your direction, the auto trade will stay. On the one minute, 28, 2900, 2100 on the two minute, three minutes, 14, uh, four minutes, it was um, uh, 1000 right at the spot, 1025, and the five minutes, 1260. It doesn't matter if the three minutes made more money today than the four minutes, because then tomorrow it will be vice versa. So don't uh, jump from one chart to another just choose the way to look at it if you want to be aggressive is one two minutes medium you can use between two minutes three minutes or three minutes four minutes and conservative between four minutes and five minutes it depends on the instruments and uh, how much your blood can handle uh, risk so um, so you can do it uh, like a medium low or medium high uh, trader between two and three minutes or three minutes and four minutes so uh, this is the way to look at it so uh, let's bring down the es also the es is the same template as the dax and the nasdaq and also in the series uh, one minute 2500 2 minutes 3100, 3 minutes 3400, 4 minutes 1800, and the 5 minutes uh, it was uh, 4000. Uh, on the ES, I was, we were so lucky, by 10 o'clock we were done trading, by 10 o'clock. But then the market did not move after 10 o'clock. So, uh, this is a message to the guys think if you if you are uh, trading all day long does mean more money it's very far from the truth uh, uh, actually if we take and look at the uh, ES movement uh, if we did not stop at 10 o'clock and get the target most likely we would have lost all our profits because you can see is very flat and uh, that would have caused uh, to lose all your profits. So more trading in the market does not mean more money. It could be less money, much less money. And uh, with your luck, uh, if the market was trending and uh, all of a sudden the market start getting a flat, uh, then uh, you're gonna end up with a big losses when there is no movement in the market especially those beginners uh, want to auto trade when there is no movement uh, in the market and no ticks to be made uh, then by the time the market uh, the, the any kind of auto trade it takes a couple bars three bars to take a trade to do the calculation and then by the time it entered the market the market turns around and then you start end up in losses. So when the market is very tight, uh, uh, still, you know, you can be on an autopilot, but you gotta be careful and uh, not over trade. This is uh, number one. The uh, second most important, if you wanna auto trade is, I understand when to trade and when to stop trading. This is very, very 
uh, important in an auto trade. So let's go ahead and look at the CL. Uh, this is uh, really funny. Uh, on the CL uh, uh, today, uh, the one minute uh, did a beautiful job, 8,400. Uh, the two minutes didn't go anywhere, uh, the two minutes. And then uh, the three minutes uh, nailed 7,700. And uh, all of them, we were done uh, between 10, 11 o'clock. And... Um, and then uh, we have the four minutes, uh, eighty six hundred, and uh, five minutes, eighty two hundred. Uh, but uh, welcome to trading. The two minutes did not make it, and nothing we can do about it. So uh, that's how that's how it is, and uh, and uh, the the time frame on the two uh, on the two minutes did not fit the market movement, and it is. Uh, the same template as an ES NASDAQ uh, DAX is the same template, the same auto trade, everything the same. But once in a while, you're going to have one time frame is not fitting with the others. And this is one of them that not fit with the others. And uh, uh, the, the, the problem started early uh, on the two minutes where it did miss that run. If we if we look at that area here, uh, it did miss this one, where the other auto trade did catch that run. So by taking an early trade, closing up, didn't catch this run, and then it, uh, tried to take a trade on a pullback and a re-entry, where the other chart catch that trend from the beginning and there we go here is the result so sometimes uh, I mean all what I can say is welcome to trade and it cannot be one little lousy trade has turned that uh, uh, time frame all around one lousy trade because it took short and that short did not make it and then when the market was start trending didn't catch that trend, the others did. And all what I can say, guys, you know, welcome to trading. No matter what we do, still the market find a way to go under our skin. So that's how it is. Uh, let's look at uh, some the same auto trade, but uh, different type of uh, templates. Uh, this is the same uh, the TI-7, like the, the other ones in the gray chart uh, but you can uh, change the colors in the back to see which account you are in uh, also on the ti7 you can do the swing trading or you can make it very tight uh, scalping or you want to tight up the stop loss and the targets uh, you can do that you can see on the es four minutes how small the trades are you can turn it to scalping and a very tight stop loss. So uh, those uh, also the TI-7. But uh, I personally like the wide range, like uh, the ones on the gray, because this way you don't take too many trades, less trades. And if the market is trending, uh, you will have uh, good uh, catch up with it. But uh, also, you can use it uh, as an e-mini uh, micro account uh, for the swing trading or maybe one contract on an e-mini on the scalping system, but you can do scalping and a swing trading. So this is the same uh, TI-7, uh, the one uh, we showed you. And uh, also, it is really amazing with the gold. Again, the gold lately has been trending very well that's all what we have for today I want to say thank you very much please be safe 
and uh, we'll see you on the other channel live tomorrow god bless you all and uh, see you tomorrow on the other channel bye for now